Have you ever wondered how committed Bitcoin investors are to holding onto their coins? Well, recent on-chain data has revealed an interesting trend. The percentage of the Bitcoin supply that has remained inactive for at least one year has reached a staggering 69% mark. Uh, this information comes from Analyst Root, who uh, shared their findings in a new post on X. It seems that a significant amount of BTC hasn't moved in over a year, indicating a growing trend of hodling among Bitcoin holders. But now, um, let's dive deeper into this phenomenon. The long-term holders make up one of the two main divisions of the Bitcoin investor base. The other group is known for as the short-term holders, STHs. The cutoff between these cohorts varies, depending on the analytics platform, but generally it falls between five to six months. Uh, if you've held your coins for longer than this period, congratulations. Um, you're part of the LTHS. Uh, statistically, the longer a holder keeps their coins dormant, uh, the less likely they are to move them. In other words, the more the supply ages, the less probable it becomes to be sold. Uh, uh, this makes the LTHs the more committed part of the market. Um, they, uh, they don't easily sell their coins even during times of uh, market rallies or crashes. And among the LTHs, uh, those who have crossed the one-year threshold are um, like stalwart diamonds, they are the most dedicated and unwavering uh, in their commitment to Halloween. And uh, currently, the, the majority of Bitcoin supply falls under this category, and it has only continued to grow uh, recently. In fact, the percentage of uh, the total uh, Bitcoin supply that has been dormant for more than a year um, has reached an all time high of 69%. Uh, this means that a significant portion of Bitcoin holders are holding onto their coins, uh, resisting the temptation to sell. It's worth noting that one year ago, Bitcoin was still trading at its lows following the collapse of the FTX exchange. The supply that has recently matured into the prices, one year range, would have been bought in the first week after this crash. Since then, Bitcoin has more than doubled in value. So it's quite remarkable that these investors are still not getting in to the allure of profit taking and are choosing to hodl their assets further. Uh, some of them an occasional and developing price for them to wait. Now a temporal price and point can dust it to the country. And also uh, that's one reason to look at our information by infection resources on fall from the selling supply. It will be interesting to see how the ongoing Bitcoin rally plays out. And now for a little joke about Bitcoin. Why did the Bitcoin go to therapy? Because it had too many issues to hash out. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.